Hi guys, you know me, I'm John Police. Um, for the past two years, I've really had an awesome opportunity to be involved in MUN. Um, last year, I was fundraising coordinator, which was a new position that year. I was involved in J-Day, coffee sales. I really got I really got involved in MUN, just something I wanted to do since freshman year. And this year, I got to do that again with Resources Are. Both years, they were new positions, so I had really had the opportunity to for form them myself. I worked hard. I did everything I could inside and outside of my position, and I've consistently consistently brought that philosophy to my mind off of leadership. I believe that as a leader, you have to work hard at what you do because that's how you get things done. And I believe that that's what I would do as USG. I've always been dedicated to this club. Every time there's been something needed of me, I've done it. You can see the list on my sheet of the things I've done. There's, most of them were voluntary, in a matter of fact. Only I think about four of them were required. I, it's because I want to do this. Mun's always been enjoyable for me. Um, this year for Tech Mun, me and Kate stayed after till like 9. I think I got home at 9.30 because we were doing uh, stuff for the fundraiser and we were finishing up flyers and everything. And I had a test the next day, but it didn't feel like work because Mun, Mun's enjoyable to me. I really enjoy doing this. And I really hope I get the chance to do that again next year. It, it's not about the time. It's about how much you care about this. And I believe that if you elect me, I will bring that passion forward to every meeting, to every opportunity, and I will work hard for you. I believe there's a lot of things that we need to work on next year. I think there's a, a lot of ways to change what's been done. I think there's a lot of ways to I improve things. I think as far as meetings go and the officer corps, I think there needs to be some uh, re reassertion of goals. Because I feel like as much as there's officers who are dedicated, it all falls by the wayside by second semester. I feel like the bulletin board, the website, it just it happens every year. And I feel like if we can reorganize ourselves, if we can reorient ourselves around the goals that we hold true to ourselves at the end of the year, if we can make sure that we stay, stay with those through the end of the year, we can make ourselves ten times more successful. Because by tech month, we won't be missing half our officers. We won't know, not know where people are. We'll, we'll have everything organized. We'll get anything done as soon as possible. We won't have to be making placards the night before because we'll finish it two weeks ago. That's the philosophy I'll bring into Mun next year, and I hope you'll uh, hope you'll elect me. Um, finally, I think that we're heading into a tumultuous year. I really, I, not a lot of people want to talk about it, but Mr. Schuck has already resigned. That's a fact. Senora Pose not exactly ecstatic about leading next year. She's willing to stay, and I think we need to be very grateful of that. Our sponsors have been uh, exceptional. They've done more than we sh honestly should ask of them, and I think we need to bring work next year and do everything possible. The sponsor's job is not to be counting money the day before the conference. The sponsor's job is to sit there and sign forms, and it's our job to carry the club forward. And that's what I'll bring forward. We need to make sure that we are doing everything possible because, in, honestly, in the eyes of the school, rightly or not, MUN is considered a, a liability. That's why we're having trouble finding people for next year. And that's wrong. And we need to work next year to make sure that this club is everything it can be. And I know every single one of you will do that, and I know I will too. Um, I, I really appreciate the opportunity I've been given to serve you, and I really hope you give it to me next year. Vote John, please, for USG. I think I've always been willing to do whatever was needed. I think there's there's a lot of people who are um, who whether or not seniors, so juniors, so, uh, sophomores, they're content just to fight the officers and do what's asked of them, not really worried about it. I've I've always wanted to do more. I've always been willing to, to do the go the extra mile and do whatever's needed. And honestly, in a club like Mun, where there's so much to do, you need that philosophy because if you have a USG who's content to just sit by and give assignments and just not worry about it, you're not going to be successful. I think you need someone who's willing to do whatever it takes. Um, he's also started participating in drama this year, and I was just wondering how your other like eighth period and extracurricular activities figure into your commitment. Um, well, as far as drama goes, I've already made sure with the schedules, none of them conflict with any of the conferences. I've made sure of that. Um, that this year was actually a little bit of a fluke with Ms. Munn because the move dates got moved. Um, but I've made sure that um, as far as any after school things go, it's usually like two days a week. That's not a big, big problem. And there's really not much a period commitment to. I'm not doing BTA next year. So I've, I've always I've made Munn's my commitment, especially when it's needed of me. As USG, it would always be needed of me, so I'd always be here. Mike. 
Um, if you could compare Model UN, Model UN under John Cleese to any government of any country, past or present, which one would you compare it to? Keep in mind that USG is by the president. Yes. Well, I mean, I, 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 I don't I don't usually study their government structures, I study their politics. I just think that as far as philosophy goes, I think there's a lot of governments who hold themselves accountable. They have to, there's a government that force people to resign when they don't get their jobs, as much as that's a little bit fascist. That's important because we can't have officers who aren't doing their jobs. That's that's their responsibility. I will always keep my responsibility and do whatever do whatever's required. Okay. Thank you. Okay.